this is the setup for getting the extreme maximum amount of damage for your demon machine wielding enchant sorceress. And I'd like to share it with you guys. So we basically have three sets of equipment. The goal of the first set is to get our energy shield to level 40. The second set is to get our enchant to level 55 which by the way is a maximum level without a skill shrine and the third set would be our farming gear energy shield can be casted anywhere including inside the town the four main items that you want to have are a memory staff which can give up to plus nine energy shield a random helmet with a plus three to lightning skills plus three amulet with plus three lightning skills as well as an ormus robes with plus three to energy shield by having all those four items I've only invested 15 hard points into energy shield but I'm getting a total of level 40 which is the maximum absorb for energy shield. So now we move on to our second set which is our enchant pre-buff. By simply holding shift and left clicking on the items you can automatically swap those items into your inventory. The hardest item which you're gonna need to complete your level 55 enchantress would be the weapon since it has to roll both plus 3 to fire skills and plus 3 to enchant. Notice also that we didn't use perfect fire facets. You don't have the negative enemy fire resistance doesn't get double dip, only the plus fire damage. As for your flickering flame, the only important role here is the enemy fire resistance. You'd want a negative 15 on that one. The rest you can practically as for the amulet, you can use any plus 3 to fire skills amulet, a spirit shield, ormus robes with plus 3 to enchant. You don't need to use any perfect facets for this one. The only thing that matters is the plus 2 fire skill damage, mage fists for the gloves, SOJ, BK rings will do fine, arachnid mesh, and any boots will do as well. Then go ahead and check your skill tree. You should see level 55. Go ahead and cast it to yourself. You can give one to your mercenary as well. There you go. And we're ready to swap into our farming. I normally start with putting back my Sunder Charms. And same thing with the other swap. You just hold shift and left click each item it will automatically send it to your inventory for the extreme maximum damage i highly suggest using fire facets on both the weapon slot and the chest slot and you might ask what about the resistances aren't you gonna use a skin of the vipire magi for it no since we're an energy shield sorceress Maybe for poison, but our mercenary is already using the new cure rune word which gives us a level 1 cleansing aura. And what about FCR? Don't you need FCR to cast those static fields? Well, personally, I'm not a fan of static field on a non-lightning sorcerer. Since we don't have any lightning facets, monsters will be resisting our static field casts. This 25% will be at 12.5% of the monster's total HP at best on the first cast and it gets a lot worse on the succeeding cast if we're already dropping diablo on players 8 in 2 or 3 seconds you don't have to bother with static field you might as well spend those extra turns into shooting him instead we're still missing one increase attack speed roll on the build and the high lord's wrath takes care of that you could potentially get it from the gloves, but I really love the Dracul's Grasp for the plus 10 to life after each kill, especially being an energy shield sorceress, we don't have much HP to start with. Moreover, we have a chance to cast level 10 life tap and our mercenary will love you for it every time it procs. As for the rest of the gear, Raven Frost for cannot be frozen, Razor Tail for the additional piercing, SOJ for the other ring and you can use any boots that you want for the boot anyways enough of me blabbering i know most of you came here for the gameplay video after the video tell me what you think is there any other way we can improve is it bad you guys enjoy have a good one and thanks for watching see you on the next one
Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.